In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Native Instruments Cremona Quartet. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. Recently, I reviewed Complete 13 from Native Instruments. You can see that review up there. And one of my favorite instruments in the Ultimate Edition was the Stradivari Violin. So I was delighted to see that it came as a part of a quartet called the Cremona Quartet, which contains two violins, one viola and a cello. And it's that which I'll be going through with you guys today. So let's get started with a little demo piece of music I've put together so that you can hear all of these instruments in concert context together. So a quick disclaimer, I'm not a particularly experienced composer or arranger for strings and I put this piece of music together very quickly yesterday. It doesn't even have a title. Perhaps you can suggest one in the comments down below. But the purpose of it is to demonstrate the various instruments in the quartet and a few of the articulations that you get with those instruments as well. So let's have a listen to this fairly quirky piece of music. The Cremona Quartet consists of four different instruments, the Stradivari cello, the Amati viola, the Guanari violin, and finally the most famous of all, the Stradivari violin, all beautifully recorded and all containing the same features. So I'm going to stick with this Stradivari violin, but remember, all of the features I'm about to show you apply to the other instruments as well. So let's start off by talking about articulations. You can see that four articulations are loaded up when we first load up the instrument instrument and they're all switchable with key switches on the keyboard so you can see me switching between the, the four different ones here without using my mouse at all very handy when you're playing let's have a quick listen this is the virtuoso sound detach bow staccato pizzicato now we're not limited to just those four, of course. We've got a whole bunch of other ones which we can load into these spaces at the bottom here. So if we click here and I click on this little menu item here, then it shows the different ones available. Let's have a quick listen to some of the ones we haven't heard so far. Let's try this one. Let's try some harmonics. So there's lots of variations that you can see there, of course. Now, some of these um, articulations that with the velocity, it's controlled with the dynamics, or I should say the expression is controlled with the dynamics. So with Virtuoso, for example, we control it with our mod wheel, like so. Mm. 
okay? But with something like pizzicato, it's actually controlled with the velocity on the keyboard. And that's because if we go back to the virtuoso instrument, what's, con what's controlled by the velocity is the portmento. So for example, I'll play from one note to another quickly, but I'll play the second note quite hard. And you can hear that slide up there. And we have some control over how that happens here with our different menu items. So as well as having those different articulations, we can also control things like, for example, vibrato. Now, I have vibrato set up to um, one of the controllers on my piano keyboard here. So just using the slider, I can control the vibrato speed here. Let's have a listen. And I set that up using a MIDI learn function. So for example, if I go to this empty space down here and I'll load up a tremolo sound, let's have a listen to that. Now you can control the speed of the tremolo, but you don't really want to reach in with your mouse like this and do it. So I right click on it and then I click on learn. And then I'm just gonna uh, move a slider on my piano keyboard. And now I'm now controlling the speed of that tremolo using the slider on my piano keyboard. So I get quite a lot of control over these different sounds. Now, apart from the different articulations that you have with these instruments, there's actually another version of each of these instruments and that has multiple mics. So let's take a look at that next. So I have a question for you. Are you finding this video useful so far? If you are, then make sure you hit the like button for me. Do it right away so that you don't forget. Also, if you do like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube so that you're notified about my future videos. Now, back to this video. So this time I'm using the Stradivari cello. Let's just have a quick listen to this instrument. Now, rather than load up the regular library, I've loaded up the multi-mic library. So now I have this icon here. If I click on that, we get this little mixer available to us. And you can see that there are close, mid and far microphones, as well as room noise that we can blend together. Let's have a quick listen to each of the microphones here, starting off with the close one. And the mid. And finally, the far. So obviously you can really sort of create your own sound using a mixture of these different microphones. You can pan them as well. And as I say, you've got the room noise that you can blend in. The only thing you want to be careful of is you're going to be using a lot more resources because there's a lot more samples now loaded up. So this is the kind of thing you want to use when you really want to craft your own sound and you've got memory to spare or you're managing your memory well. So what do you think? Are these your new favorite strings? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, why while you're there, don't forget to give me a title for the piece of music which I played you at the beginning of this video. I always love to hear you guys interpretation of what you've heard. Now don't forget if you're looking in the description down below to follow my link to my Patreon page where for as little as one dollar per month you can help me help you by making more videos like this and I'll see you in the next video.